so important for Chinese medicine. Some of the uh, classic books even think about for women's uh, the most important organ is liver. They thought about except the kidney. So liver is so important. I have a picture of the liver channel pathway, which explaining why it's so important for us. So <coughs> liver channel start on the food, and then it goes up along the inner side of the leg. Primary channels. There's only two channels uh, pass through the genital organs. Uh, liver channel is one of the channel. So in the clinic, we treated some of the patients manifest the symptoms on the genital organs. Uh, we treated from liver, liver channel or herb side to the liver. Uh, so for example, for women, uh, like no matter male or female, with herpes attack, genital pain, itching, we treated from liver, liver channel, liver organ. But except about that, it goes to the lower abdominal area. It needed the other channels, so just now we mentioned kidney channel, We'll mention later about the uh, kidney channel, uh, rent channel, do channel, <coughs> channel, all those extraordinary channels needed on the lower abdominal area. For female, it's around the ovary area. This picture is not a perfect picture. And in fact, uh, the meridian pass we should be not directly goes to the lower abdominal, uh, from the rib area. It should be goes on the lower abdominal area on the side and then goes up. And lower abdominal area on the side, this is the ovary area. Liver is related for women's uh, ovulation, very important. You have heard some of the patients, uh, some of the people says uh, when they are stressed out, their period is getting irregular. Mm -hmm. And liver in Chinese medicine is in charge of emotions. So stress really related to about uh, that part. Uh, also for about, so some of the patients stress out says about they have a irregular period, they have no ovulation. It also happens sometimes we met in the clinic, some of the patients, they have regular, every month they have a period. They tell you they have during, uh, during ovulation time, they have cramps around their ovary area. When we treated them, soothes liver, no matter herbs or acupuncture, what helps address about the pain. And then there's also menstrual cramps. So some people will tell you their menstrual cramps on the uterus area. Some of them will say their menstrual cramps on the side of ovary area. Mm -hmm. The same for about treated for liver will help. So, and then for about meridian goes up. It goes up, circulated on the rib area. And then for about uh, near the breast area, it's not exactly on the breast area because uh, another meridian pair with liver channel, gallbladder channel goes to the breast area. So you have heard about some of the patients tell you about their uh, menstrual cycle hormone imbalance, they would tell you. And they have breast tenderness that after ovulation, uh, until they have their period, they have breast tenderness, they get irritable or so. Uh, when they get irritable, emotion related. When they have breast tenderness, we call liver cheese stagnation. That's the same reason, just now Sadie was mentioned about uh, patient has the hormone prolactin, hyperprolactin. Uh, patient will usually have liver cheese stagnation. I also met some of the patients, they're not pregnant, but you, from time to time we heard some of the patients, they would tell you they have well, these charges on the nipple. It could be clear, yellowish. I have met some patient has greenish about these charges. They have got a lot of examinations, uh, different type of uh, mammograph or, and so on. And the doctor says, no, no reasons. They don't know uh, what's the reason. And then they come to get acupuncture and herbs, uh, usually for about uh, two weeks or three weeks, uh, it will stop. Uh, and then they sh should continue to get more treatment for about maybe two to three months. A lot of time the symptoms will stop. Uh, so those are about related to the liver channel, really related to the hormones. <laughs> and then for about liver channel goes up around the throat area. We have met some of the patients in the clinic, uh, thyroid problems. Uh, yeah, heard some of the patients, even though classically thyroid problems for Chinese medicine is probably, if it's hypothyroidism, it is probably spleen and kidney yang deficiency. But I have tried about some of my patients to just use the herb free easy wonder and it came back normal. I have one of the <laughs> patients I remember, she has, uh, she came to me and says, oh, I tried to get pregnant and it's already over one year, so I need to get some treatment. So I give her about acupuncture treatment 
and she told me I'm freezing cold. In Boston, so hot in summertime, 100 degree. When she drive here, she don't turn her air conditioner on in her car because the, the heat really makes her feel better. And then she said, in the waiting area, it's freezing cold. She feels she always uh, uh, wear sweaters. So because of that, I said, did you check about your uh, steroid? No, never. So I said, you better tell your doctor maybe get some examinations. Uh, and she did. She walked, in, uh, she walked in her doctor's office and told her she went about the thyroid to check. Uh, and it came back, her thyroid was abnormal. Mm -hmm. So her doctor sent to her specialist uh, for about, and she waited for about seeing the specialist, wait for about two to three months. Uh, uh, she can see the specialist. So I feel just kind of waiting. So she's coming get acupuncture treatment. Uh, so she has high stress. So I just give her about uh, we could free easy wonder. It's just really about for reduce her stress, not really big uh, formula, and a little bit about promote circulation. So, so she saw me for about until she saw her uh, specialist, and between that two or three months, uh, she actually also had two or three times we treated her for more about her. She has uh, food poisons, so we treated her for her diarrhea or throughout or so. Uh, so when she goes to her first visit with her doctor, they found out she's already pregnant. Mm -hmm. So, but I, well, of course, she still need to say, I told her she will always visit her doctor because uh, when she gets pregnant, she still need to be very important to check about her thyroid level. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, well, for about, also I met about in the clinic, some of my patients told me about they have thyroid nodules. Mm -hmm. And one of my patients told me about, I asked her, when did you notice about those symptoms? So she said when she's stressed out, she feel like about blockage feeling on the throat area, difficult to swallow or so. Um, mm -hmm. So the same formula I gave her about some others with off nodules. Uh, and she took it very good. She said when she took the herbs very good and she don't feel it so much. She, then I have about for about half year or one year, I didn't see her. When I saw her again, it's totally different symptoms. So I asked her about, how about your thyroid? Did you still feel it? Or so she said the nodule is very small, so her doctor didn't do anything, and her thyroid function is normal. So, and I, I know about half year, she's not still taking the herbs. It must be about not taking the herbs. So I asked her, how do you feel about your throat area? Is it still blockage? No, not blockage anymore. What did you do? I didn't do anything, but what I did is just reduce <coughs> my stress. Mm -hmm. She was having huge stress, and she was having a two-year-old boy. Her husband mm -hmm. cannot help working, and then a lot of other family issues, stress. Mm -hmm. So finally, she decided about she took off. She would not hold so much stress by herself, but, and she joined a gym doing exercises, and her son was about to go to daycare. So she's not so much stressed, and she don't have any symptoms of her, her thyroid. So what I mentioned are those, a lot is related to the uh, stress. And of course, the meridian goes up uh, around about to the uh, lips, and goes uh, around the lips is inner lips. Have you ever heard some of the people tell you when they stress out, they have cold sores? Uh, mm -hmm. They're very related. To, so, and then it goes up to the uh, vertex area. Uh, mm -hmm. So for Chinese medicine, stress is really a fact for about, we mentioned, uh, uterus, the uh, ovary area. That's really, that's why it's one important thing we see a lot of times, uh, patient says, oh, they got acupuncture and they got uh, uh, pregnant so easy. I have one of the patient, uh, she's uh, over 42 years old and she come to get acupuncture treatment for infertility. I told her she need to t at least be ready for about three months. Uh, and three treatments later, she told me she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I told her it's not because of the herbs, it's just because of she's really relaxed. Mm -hmm. She's not so stressed out. And then, and she knows, she told me about it exactly because she said usually she's very stressful. We treat, I treated her three times, but only the first two times because the, the third time she probably already pregnant, we just don't know. Mm -hmm. But to the first two, two times she has about, she told me about what happens is usually she's very easy stressed out. And she has one uh, three-year-old girl already, but the three-year-old girl still wear a diaper. And so she said one time she went to exercise in the gym and she put all her, her uh, like she put her wallet inside her diaper bag, uh, her daughter's diaper bag. She thought it should be no problem. Nobody would take the diaper bag, but after she get ex 
exercises. She walked out, her car was broken, and her <coughs> bag was gone, and her <coughs> wallet was gone. And actually, she later got a phone call from the bank. Someone was trying to use her car to cash money, and they got about to her car door. So, uh, so she said, if this happens, usually she's totally stressed out. Uh, and this time she was like, okay, I just make the list of make call, phone call, and so on. And she was like, she was really not so anxious and stressed, uh, not so stressed out. That time she don't know how about she get pregnant. And one week later she uh, she uh, she figure her out. Too. And then after about her her son ended about her son was uh, just one week or two week younger than my son. I have a uh, younger one. And I, she she came back about after her. Uh, her son was born, she has about postpartum fatigue and uh, body ache or so on those kind of cases. So really important for about uh, liver, for about uh, the, uh, go back to about the picture for about the liver organ. And then the same for about the stress. Remember just now I mentioned that patient after his wife got pregnant, she's still taking herbs. Because uh, the herb I put in something is more reduced stress also. Uh, 